What's up you guys, it's Marta and Edward. We are in Vancouver, Canada right now. We are so sorry. We've been so busy moving from Europe to Vancouver over the past few months that we completely dropped the ball on this one. We have footage from Florence and Milan in Italy that we want to show all of you. And so today, we decided to spend some time to sit down, go through that footage with you, and bring you along with us and relive our memories. In our last video, we took you to Rome. If you haven't seen it yet, go check it out. We are far behind our schedule, so here we go. We just arrived here in Florence, Italy. Our hotel was really fun. There were lots of colors, great design and games hidden in some of the corridors. The student hotel brings together student accommodation, hotel rooms, co-working and event space. Walking there felt like we are in game, going through different levels. We loved it. The Florence location was perfect, a few minutes away from the train station and the city center. It's equipped with so many different things including games rooms, co-working and study spaces, restaurants, bars, stores, a panoramic gym, a rooftop pool and an incredible view of the city. After checking in at the hotel, we headed into town. The first thing we saw was the Florence Cathedral. These buildings were stunning. So my dream came true, I saw Botticelli in front of me. <laughs> and it was amazing, I actually teared up a bit. There's always a huge line for tickets outside the Uffizi Gallery. There's actually a store about a block away where you can buy tickets without lining up. Uffizi Gallery is packed with amazing art and the view from the windows is an art piece itself. never wants to go to art galleries with me <laughs> but Maybe every time sometimes. no never <laughs> but every time we end up there he's like oh my god that's so interesting what's that and he asks me questions and i have to explain everything to him which is pretty annoying but, the, but, but like apparently yeah. i asked too many questions yeah too many questions because i'm not an art teacher or like i know art history yeah, but you know a bit, your art. But yeah, I do, but like I said, you ask very specific questions which I don't know answers you to. You do. You no, do. I don't. So you always like, give I, me good I, answers. So. I like how like he's always like, no, no, it's going to be so boring. Let's not go there. And like, oh, you know, like, can we just skip the art gallery or the museums? And then he's like really into it, and he's actually enjoying himself. And, yeah. 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 We wanted to try the famous Atlantico Vinaya sandwiches, but the lineup was way too long. We decided to go to another place named Amici di Ponte Vecchio. The sandwiches were delicious and made with true passion by the shop's owner. Stadium Firenze. This place <laughs> is the bomb. Oh, I'm telling like... you, if you go to Florence, you got to be sure to hit up this place. Our boy Filippo, who works at the pizza place, as well as his friend, the, the owner, owner, and actually everybody there, everybody there. They just give off one of the most, you know, incredible vibes. Everyone's so nice. They have music blasting there. Everyone's dancing. You have to just experience it yourself. amazing pizza, best pizza ever. It doesn't look like you would expect it to look. It's not like round and cut into triangles and you order. They're cut um, into like random shapes. Like random circles, shapes? Circles, squares, triangles. There is no menu. Yeah, there's no menu. Filippo just makes whatever he wants yeah, so, and so, gives it to you. <laughs> so this is what you do. You basically walk up to the counter and you talk to one of the staff there and they basically look at you and they're like, okay, 
and then they just make pizza based on whatever they think you'd like. Just like Japanese sushi restaurants when they do omakase. The interior, like there's no interior design. It's just yeah. simple white to like, there's, it's just super it's, simple. It's you, you don't go there to sit in a beautiful place. You go there to experience the vibes. Such a good experience. The pizza was amazing and just we, love the atmosphere. We definitely go back. Oh yeah, 100%. Yeah, we will, the family. Our boy Filippo. A, yeah, Filippo, shout out to you. We love you and miss you. <laughs> After exploring all day, it was time for dinner. Florence is famous for its Florentine steak, so we found this amazing restaurant to try some out. Unfortunately, the Florentine steak would have been way too big for myself, so I had to get a smaller steak, which was also delicious. And I got pasta because I don't eat beef. Florence in the evening is magical. You are supposed to pet this board to ensure that you will come back to Florence. Florence was so good. I'm 100% going back to Florence. We need to see Tuscany itself, yeah. like the like countryside. Oh yeah. With wineries yeah. And, and just like of those villages and, yeah. and we need to stay there. I, I fell in love with the city. I think it was my favorite one in Italy. Yeah. It was yeah, my favorite one. I think so. Yeah. Florence, we're coming back for you. And Italy. So that's Florence. And now we are going to Milan. From Florence, we took a bullet train to Milan. It took us about two hours and ten minutes, exactly. Our friends recommended us to go eat pizza at Spontini. Spontini. This, this place is great. And they just make pizza like in a few seconds. They chop it like crazy, give it to you. If you're visiting Milan, make sure you check out the rooftop of the Duomo. You can see the beautiful skyline of the city, as well as the incredible architecture of the building up close. Milan was the last city on our Italy trip. We were already so tired, we just decided to walk around for the rest of the night. So there's this Porsche art sculpture or exhibit 
um, at one of the stores and installation. we yeah installation we happened to walk by and it was super cool yeah, shout it out was to by... you Benedict Radcliffe Sitting on these steps, enjoying a nice little breakfast. There's a tradition where you get good fortune if you spin three times on the bowl. Boncini was so good, we went there twice. Oh my god. We loved Italy so much. Every city that we visited, had something else to offer. We enjoyed our time there so much and we hope to go back to Italy for much longer. We're here in Vancouver for the next few months. It's his turn to be a guide now. So we're gonna be filming some videos here and giving you some Vancouver content. So I hope you join us, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and, and leave a comment and let us know yeah. what you want us to do here in Vancouver. And thank you so much for watching and see you very soon.